up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 bmw x2 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so wanted to hop in this one today because this is actually a relatively affordable bmw not to mention you get three years thirty six thousand miles of free maintenance as well which makes it even more affordable believe it or not and there are some minor changes for the 2022 x2 and so in this video i will be testing out and going over everything from paddle shifters acceleration braking ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so of course there will be a few different configurations for the 2022 x2 first one being the s drive 28i starting at thirty six thousand six hundred dollars x drive 28i which actually is the one we have today starting at thirty eight thousand six hundred dollars and the M35i starting at $46,450. And so, as you can probably conclude by the trim levels there, there are two different engine configurations available for the X2. First one belonging to the 28i trim levels being a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder engine putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1,400 RPM, power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.6 .6 seconds for the front wheel drive 6.3 seconds then for the all-wheel drive that we have today giving you mpg numbers coming in at 24 city 32 highway for the front wheel 24 in the city 31 on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is that other engine configuration of course belonging to the m35i this one is going to be a two liter m tuned twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder 301 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 331 pound feet of torque coming in right around 1700 rpm power sent to all four wheels once again through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifter zero to 60 on that one 4.7 seconds that's quite impressive actually for an suv and mpg numbers for that one 23 in the city 30 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel yet again so before we do this paddle shifter test here first i did want to mention there are of course some driving modes that drive mode selector is going to be located directly to the left of the shifter and that will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so now i haven't got all of that out of the way you guys what do you say? Let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put these paddle shifters here to the test. Every single time I've tested the BMW's paddle shifters in the past, they have always been absolutely amazing. So I really have no worries when it comes to this test, but I always have to do it. Let's go ahead and put this thing in the test and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here. And so real quick, before we do this paddle shifter test, I did want to mention there is a full manual shift mode where you have complete control over the shifting. To put it in that mode, just simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. It is going to display what gear you're in up on the gauges as well, so you don't have any issues there. But now having said that, now that we got that out of the way, here is our straightaway coming up. So let's put these things to the test here. There's gonna be someone behind us, so let's go. <laughs> Love it. Very quick, very quick, always very quick. Like I was saying before, paddle shifters are lightning quick. Never disappoint me in any BMW that I have ever tested. I'm telling you guys, if you are into shifting through your own gears via the paddle shifters, any BMW is really gonna put you on point. So wonderful as always, but to get back full control to this X2, I'm just gonna simply slide the shifter back to the right here. And one more time, let's do a quick little acceleration test now. And let's see how quickly this thing is going to get us here up to speed. All right, we're gonna start on a bridge here. I don't know why, but in three, two, one, go. Yeah, that'll get the job done. Definitely not the qu quickest thing in the world. I mean, you can go with the M35i. That's going to be 4.7 seconds to 60, but that'll get the job done. Definitely not going to have any issues with merging onto the highway. I think I was just expecting a bit more because it's a BMW, but still plenty of an acceleration. Just 
maybe not enough of an acceleration for me because I wanted a little bit more. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So, of course, as expected, you will find four-wheel ventilated disc brakes for the X2. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, 111 feet that is brilliant you guys let me tell you this is a number i always like to emphasize in all of my reviews so i have rambled off hundreds of these 60 to zero stopping distance numbers at this point 111 feet is among the best without a doubt typically in suvs you'll find 120s 130s a lot of the times as high as 139 feet that i've seen so 111 feet is dang near brilliant that is a wonderful stopping distance as far as braking feel goes it's perfectly fine there's not any squishiness or sponginess to the braking so absolutely no issues when it comes to that but then touching on suspension and handling of course for the x2 you will find an independent front and rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars gas pressurized shock absorbers as well and if you were to go with that m35 i trim level you will also get a m sport suspension as well which is pretty cool and to go along with that for that m35 there is an adaptive damping suspension that is optional for the m35 i that goes for 500 dollars as an option by the way but that is one i always like to recommend because it gives you the best of both worlds and not only tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering but it also monitors each shock absorber to give you a smoother ride absorbing a lot of the roads imperfections as well so that is why i always like to recommend that one whenever you can get it in any manner manufacturer any vehicle out there so did want to mention that but as far as that ride quality goes it has been perfectly fine i mean it's not x3 x5 good but it'll get the job done you can feel a little bit more of the road comparing it to like the x3 or x5 but it'll get the job done so no issues there for me as far as cabin noise goes bmw crushes it with cabin noise there's little to no exterior wind noise coming into the cabin which you typically do get at higher speeds i mean i've gone over 50 miles per hour already in our x2 and there is nothing as far as wind noise coming into the cabin which a lot of times you do get a little bit of road noise no wind noise though whatsoever so cabin noise with the x2 is absolutely wonderful without a doubt as far as steering feel goes that is another wonderful thing with this one because you can actually tailor it to your liking with the driving modes if you want a little bit heavier of a weight to the steering just simply put it in that sport driving mode if you wanted a looser feel put it back to comfort so it's best both worlds for that one at least and as far as visibility goes this is the one where i gotta say visibility is kind of meh it's just it's definitely not as good as like the x1 let's say which is slightly less expensive than the x2 because of its shape it is a bit narrower of a visibility, I guess you could say, when you're looking out that rear view mirror. So it's to be expected though with the shape of the X2. It's not a bad thing. It's just something you're probably gonna have to get used to. That's all I'm saying. But rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on the X2 as well, which is going to assist with visibility there. Essentially what that is, is whenever the X2 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So it's just one less thing you gotta worry about. That's really a wonderful thing right there. Most vehicles don't get that standard, so that's pretty cool. Any head up display is going to come with the premium package that goes for three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars we do have it today so right now i'm looking at the speed limit of the current road i am on as well as the speed i am currently going and it's also going to illuminate some safety features up there when needed as well so that's definitely going to assist you with visibility yet again but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 bmw x2 all right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 BMW X2 finished in Brooklyn Gray Metallic. That is the exterior color name that we have today. Also, by the way, we do have something called the M Mesh Edition. So I'll be going over that in a second or two, but I did want to also let you guys know that because there are several exterior changes as well as interior when it comes to that particular package option. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Satin aluminum trim is going to come standard surrounding that front grille as well as some other areas as well. But there is shadow line trim available and that M Mesh edition actually gets a specific front grille that you guys are currently looking at right now then as well and it is an active kidney front grille that typically you will find on bmw of course as well but front air curtains to the bottom corners there helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination giving a little better aerodynamics there to the sides led headlights with the cornering function coming standard as well meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so that's definitely 
definitely a safety feature in itself. Automatic feature, of course, coming standard as well, meaning the headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there whenever it detects any kind of darkness. LED daytime running lights then also coming standard on this one too, but overall, very nice look up front there. And actually, since this front grille is specific to the M Mesh Edition, let me go ahead and touch on that real quick for you guys. So overall, that M Mesh Edition goes for $7,050. It is going to include the 19-inch multicolored W orange wheels, which I am about to show you guys. There's some aluminum hexagon trim up front on the front grille. There is a lights package, M Sport steering wheel, M Sport front seats, M Sport X exterior package, shadow line exterior trim. It's going to be the gloss black as opposed to the an aluminum trim, anthracite headliner, and extended shadow line trim as well. So overall, that is what that $7,050 gives you. So then now making our way to the side of this one, if you were curious if the X2 can get roof rails on it, it actually can. It is a $250 option if you wanted to go that route. BMW located on the C pillar towards the back. That is one of the coolest little design features that I've always liked on the X2 from the second it came out. No other BMW has that on the C pillar, but the X2, which makes it special. So I'm a big fan of that. Also get that M badging on the front fender, thanks to the M mesh package that we do indeed have here today. Matte black side skirts are going to come standard on the 28i body colored side skirts for the M35i. It's a little bit of a difference there. When it comes to the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals as well. And one of the new minor updates for the 2022 X2 is there are are now black side mirror caps as a standalone option for the X2. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch Y spoke alloys with all season run flat tires come standard on the 28i. 19 inch double five spoke alloys with all season run flat tires come standard with the M35i. And again, specific wheel and tire combination are going to come with that M mesh package that we have here today. And probably the easiest way to tell if you're looking at that package is the wheels because of the orange accents on them. So do want to mention that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the x2 and so but now making our way to the back starting at the very top body colored shark fin antenna does come standard just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper led taillights coming standard across the board very nice taillight design on this one and just below it all dual exhaust outlets typically with chrome tips although we do have the dark chrome tips here today to go along with our shadow line exterior accents uh, it is pretty darn cold but nonetheless I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back of the X2, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob itself that is one way. There's also a button on the driver's side door that is the other way. But the coolest way to go ahead and open that up is going to be the hidden way within the BMW logo. You simply press in on that BMW logo. You don't have to lift up on anything like you do with Volkswagen, for example. But just simply press in on that and it is actually going to open up itself, which is pretty freaking cool. Because if you don't own an X2, you're probably not going to know how that is going to go ahead and open up. And by the way, it is a hands-free power lift gate if you were to go with the premium package or convenience package, so I wanted to mention that as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 21.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, you can fold those rear seats down, bumping that up to 50.1 cubic feet then. Also wanted to mention in that cargo area, you can find grocery bag hooks. There is some cargo lighting. There is a cargo cover. There is actually a 12 volt power outlet back there. But the thing that surprised me in the cargo area is if you lift up underneath the cargo floor, there is a good bit of in-floor storage. I'm not just talking about a little bit. It is a pretty deep amount of in-floor storage within that cargo floor. So that is pretty darn cool. You do not always get that with SUVs. And for a compact SUV like this, definitely a very good thing. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 36.7 inches. So for reference, 
I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Also for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders. There is rear ventilation and there are phone charging ports for those rear passengers then as well. Then making our way up to the front seats, eight way power adjustable front seats do come standard with two way power side bolsters as well. And the lumbar support on those seats, I gotta say is extremely good. A lot of times lumbar support isn't as adjustable as they definitely are here in the X2. So that was definitely nice to see since the tech upholstery by the way comes standard on the x2 however dakota leather that we have today is optional so plenty comfortable plenty fine for me heat and ventilated seats by the way are optional actually as well if you wanted to go ahead and get them but again like i said seats are plenty comfortable i like how they're all one piece too like the headrests are included with the seats it definitely gives it a sportier look so I'm digging it. But anyways, let's now go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. Again, it is an M Sports steering wheel because we have the M Mesh package that I was mentioning to you guys. It is leather wrapped either way. You can get a heated steering wheel if you want to go with that as a standalone option. It's $550. Otherwise, you can also get with the premium package. It's another route. But overall, 10 and 2 grips are plenty good. Definitely like how they're thicker. And again, that's specific to the M Sports steering wheel that we do indeed have here today. But now, let's go ahead and make our our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your m colors on the one side and pretty much all your buttons are going to be located on one side of the key you got lock unlock and that button to pop the rear lift gate there and the lock button is going to be the bmw logo so i always like to mention that because it's kind of hidden i guess on the key fob but anyways it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is located just underneath of the climate vest just to the right of the gauges there but once started up speedometer is on your left tachometer is on your right and it is a digital display front and center towards the bottom there giving you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty also your speed limit outside temperature and of course trip a trip b time of day the basics basically and uh, of course it's also going to show you down there if you change your driving modes as well which is what i was looking at when i was changing my driving modes during that test drive so that is pretty cool but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality then power moonroof is going to come standard on the x2 however a panoramic moonroof is going to come with the convenience and premium packages and that of course is what you guys are looking at right now anthracite headliner also coming standard home link controls are going to come with the convenience and premium packages for up to three different garage doors found just underneath of that rear view mirror there dual zone climate control coming standard on the x2 ambient lighting with the convenience and premium packages wireless phone charger is going to be a $500 standalone option if you wanted that and overall as far as finishes go it is extremely high quality as you would expect in a BMW I like the carbon fiber ish look it's not authentic carbon fiber but it goes on the doors just above the passenger side glove box there are plenty of soft touch materials along with stitching that goes throughout the doors and just above the glove box as well if there's any constructive criticism I have on the interior quality it's going to be just around the shifter there's a lot of matte gray plastics that they probably at least could have finished with a design to them maybe like a little diamond pattern or something to the plastic rather than just leaving it matte black but other than that that's really all i got just in front of the shifter there's a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port a little bit of storage two cup holders in front of the shifter as well behind the shifter there's an electromechanical parking brake and within the center armrest is actually where you're going to go ahead and find that wireless phone charger if you went with that option so that's where we got that and underneath of that center armrest there's a decent amount of storage along with a phone charging port under there then as well so overall interior quality is definitely very nice as expected because we are in a bmw after all but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display. It is an 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display. And by the way, if you did not want to use that touchscreen, there actually is a circular dial and buttons located directly behind the shifter. So that is probably what I would use while I was driving. However, it probably would be a little more convenient to actually use the touchscreen while you are parked. It's a little bit of a reach while you're driving. So that's why I put it that way. But Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Apple CarPlay, factory navigation actually comes standard on the X2. That's pretty cool. Can of course check out some weather information up there which is also pretty cool climate control settings can be found up there the date the time of day of course and of course your radio information as well and so there are a couple different sound systems for the x2 a hi-fi sound system with seven speakers and 205 watts does come standard on this one however there is an optional 875 dollar Harman Kardon sound system that we have today and so 
Having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That was pretty darn good. Definitely a very nice sound system with the Harman Kardon setup that we have today. Plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. That was crystal clear. That was a very nice sound system. More than enough for the size of the X2, I'll put it that way. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put this X2 in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard is going to be a frontal collision warning system, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and front and rear parking sensors as well. And then there's a couple of optional features Features, including adaptive cruise control with stop and go it goes for a thousand bucks and a parking assistant feature as well that goes for two hundred dollars but overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the x2 the driving dynamics are really what makes this thing so enjoyable because of the acceleration although the m35 is definitely going to be where it's at when it comes to the acceleration on the x2 but braking is absolutely wonderful again 60 to 0 and 111 feet is great especially for an suv handling is wonderful as well the steering feel is great in that sport driving mode i'll tell you that it has a nice heavy weight to it a part of the reason why the handling is so great is because this one does have a pretty stiff suspension which is good for handling but the trade-off to that is it's not going to be as smooth as let's say the x3 or x5 so ride quality suffers a little bit for that so maybe like i said if you can get the adaptive damping suspension on this thing that is definitely the way to go also love the bmw loco on the c pillar of the exterior of this thing that is one of the cool design features that i've always loved on this thing so that is definitely a big plus in my book one of the constructive criticisms i got though is there are so many optional features on this thing and a lot of these options should be coming standard on a bmw especially at this price range like heated seats for example heated seats are something that should come standard on every bmw out there in my opinion wireless phone chargers one i think should be standard as well seeing as everybody has smartphones these days that are compatible with wireless phone chargers is definitely something that bmw should consider making standard on all their vehicles at this point but overall very fun cross server slash suv to drive so i definitely enjoyed it but let me know what you guys think of this new 2022 x2 in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold